I'm stuck in a jail cell. I don't have a key to get out of the jail cell. And the entire prison is crawling with infected. Can we make it out of here alive? Let's find out. Growing up, did you ever have those discussions with your friends about what you'd do in a zombie apocalypse? Ah uh, yeah, I had friends. Fuck yeah. I can't say I ever thought a jail cell would be on my mind, but that is where we are today. I've spawned in with my overalls, a couple items in the drawer next to my bed. Now we've got to figure out how to get out of here. And you know what? Without a key, it's actually easy. Just yell at the zombies who are outside running free and they'll come and break you out. Now you can actually do this challenge and spawn yourself in a key at the very beginning if you adjust the settings, but that completely defeats the purpose of the challenge for me, so I'm not about to do that. And just like that, the lads had broken me out. Now I couldn't take them all at once, that was going to be suicidal, so somehow I managed to escape completely unscathed doing this, and the plan was to try and divide them up into smaller groups so I could take them on easily. Now things got a bit hectic upstairs, but I realised that if I hugged the railings, it caused the zombies to jump off for whatever reason, so I decided to try and use this strategy to help break up the amounts of zombies I was fighting. Pure genius! I did really enjoy this moment where I kept shoving a zombie over and over, and he just decided to say fuck that shit. Every set of drawers in each cell seemed to contain a fair few various items, and each of them included food, so the only real thing I had to worry about was water for now. Not too sure how a zombie manages to get an axe in its head in the middle of a prison, but I'll take it. So that covered our early game weapon, which was going to be very useful. After taking care of a fair few of the undead, I finally managed to get a jail key off one of the guards. This was the first step in getting at least out of the main jail cell area and exploring the rest of the prison. It was around this point where I started dragging in more prisoners and guards from different wings. I thought the insane population I set was going to bring in way more enemies, but it was actually surprisingly quiet, at least for what I thought was going to be crazy. It took a bit of time and patience, but once I had finally taken care of the free roaming zombies in that entire jail cell wing, I was then able to open each individual cell and clear them out, make sure I had gotten all the supplies from each cell and move on. Now look, this place was pretty huge, I didn't know the layout at all, and I didn't know where I was going to go. All I know is that my character needed water, and I didn't know where to find it. So I decided to take a bit of a gamble, I looked at all the different doors I had access to, and decided to pick the least threatening looking one. And this ended up actually paying off really well. I thought this whole area was going to be packed with zombies, but it turns out it was empty as. I really thought it was going to be the opposite. Even the visiting area was completely empty, I was so confused, I was sure that I was going to be fighting every inch of this battle every second. Now's the time as good as ever, if you have a challenge you think would be interesting for me to complete, or anything for me to do in Project Zomboid to take on, let me know down in the comments below and I'll check those out and I might play them, who knows. After heading upstairs, it was the same story, there was almost no undead around, I don't know what is going on. But after taking care of them and heading down the hallway, I finally managed to run into a bathroom with a working tap. Finally, I could get my hydration under control. After continuing on and checking out the rest of the interrogation rooms that were around on this level, I ran into something pretty interesting. I think I got very lucky with the path I chose because I stumbled upon the medical rooms. This was a sealed set of rooms which had all sorts of different meds, painkillers, basically anything medical related, you name it, it was there. And to top things off, there were two sort of wellness rooms that also had a really high quality bed inside, which was the perfect area for me to set up a place to sleep safely. I really feel like you should be able to break into this safe. It's such a unique model in the world. Why can't you break into it? Now look, I don't know if it was because I cranked the population up so high or if it was because of the spawn I chose, but a lot of these rooms seem to bug zombies out and they seem to keep spawning inside things. I have a feeling this is due to me spawning in the area, but I could be wrong. So there were many instances where I was just fighting against something that wouldn't fight back. I stumbled upon these other sets of cells. I'm not really sure who they were for, but they had a way better setup than we did on C Block. Goddamn. Whoever was housed here had a TV. Like, what is that? I'm sure there's like a fair enough reason for it, but I'm not going to look into it. But it kind of made me really angry, so I started smacking everyone with a pole. <laughs> Well, I was faced with minimal resistance, but that was the entire second story of the jail pretty much cleared out as far as I was concerned. 
I then decided to go back down to the ground floor and clear out the rest of the smaller areas that I hadn't already checked and head towards the other wing which was holding the other half of the prisoners. Hello! Echo! Can anyone hear me? Is there anyone in this jail? I even found this side door which led to an outside area that I would expect prisoners to be in but there was nobody around at all. I did a full walk around to the other side and didn't find a soul. Managed to stumble my way into the locker area which held all the gear the guards were using. So I got myself kitted up with some fairly bite resistant gear which was excellent. Now it wasn't mattering too much right now due to the lack of zombies I was finding. But once we escaped we were going to run into huge hordes of them. Now begs the question, where are we going to go once we get out of here? What place should we clear next? Let me know down below. I finally reached a gate that I actually didn't have the key to. I'm not too sure why mine wasn't unlocking it. Maybe the guard wasn't the high level he said he was, but uh, I decided to head back to my bed, take a rest for the evening, and head back here tomorrow after looting more bodies. The next morning, I finally managed to get a key. I went through all the different bodies that were laying around the place that I had already finished off, made my way to the library, and there was an insane amount of books around. Ideally, I could actually stay in the prison and live here for a fair chunk of time if I wanted to, as I do have a decent amount of food and a good amount of water. But because that wasn't the objective, I wasn't going to bring any books with me for now. Check out the prison yard on insane zombie population. Like, what is that? I seriously thought, like, we were going to have a huge fight on our hands. I started to become seriously complacent because I just thought this was going to be everywhere now. Finally managed to get myself a revolver from one of the CCTV rooms. Not really sure who I'm going to use it on since nobody seems to exist in this game, but cool to have nonetheless. Also for no reason at all this green light bulb appeared in my inventory. If someone can explain this to me I would love to know why. It got me thinking maybe there's a set amount of zombies that can only spawn in the prison. There was no way that I had gotten this lucky that no zombies managed to spawn around. It didn't make much sense to me at all. So I figured maybe there was like a limit to how many were spawning in on my area. That or they were all surrounding the jail and I just couldn't see them yet. Who knows? It was very bizarre though. I didn't like it. I even got so desperate that I started using my revolver on some of the zombies that were just straggling around the place and even it didn't seem to attract any extra attention. The entire place was completely deserted. Hmm. Louisville, Kentucky. Maybe I should go here. Maybe this can be the next spot we check out. I'll get a car, road trip it there and see what's around. I decided to take a little break and do some target practice at some of the zombies that were outside the double fencing. It was nice to finally spot a small mob of zombies, which is something I didn't think I was going to say throughout this run at all, but here we are. So the entire place was pretty much empty. I went and had checked the other cell block and even it was empty too. So I figured that all the zombies must just spawn in the world around the prison for whatever reason. Maybe I just got really lucky. So I decided to pack up all my gear, head to the last building that I hadn't checked yet, and then decide to get a car and get out of here. Remember when we talked about complacency? Yeah, it almost got me killed. I did have a thought in the back of my mind about where the prison guards kept all their stuff and it was when I started checking this next area when my questions were answered. I'd finally found the armory and this had tons of guns and ammo and different weapons. Now obviously I couldn't really transport this all on my own so I wasn't too sure what I should take and what I shouldn't but it was good to know that it was there and it was safe and it was secure. So I could always come back later at any point and come and grab what I need, which was awesome. Finally getting outside meant zombies actually saw me again and actually existed, which was awesome. I was so happy to finally give them a big hug. Took one last look at the Kentucky State Prison and said I'm never going back, unless I'm getting guns. Feel completely underwhelmed at what it had to offer in terms of zombie activity, but I thought, you know what, this could be the start of an incredible life. Maybe I should just clear all the zombies on the map. Was it even possible? Who knows? But we were going to start here. I got my things, popped them in the car, and decided to start refueling off one of the spare cars in the parking lot. And that was that. That was the challenge completed, and this is the first challenge I've technically successfully completed. 
Now, there was an underwhelming amount of zombies in the prison itself. I really thought there was going to be more, like I've said a million times already. But hey, it still counts. That's a successful tick on my chart. So from here, where do we go now? Do I head to Louisville? Do I clear out another giant area and hope that there's more zombies? Let me know down below what you think I should do next, or what could be an interesting challenge I could take on. I would find it interesting to continue this run and just to see how far we get. But for now, this is where I'm going to leave it because it was successful, we did meet the criteria, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, those of you who are still watching, thank you for watching, I appreciate it very much. If you could like the video, it would do a massive service. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you can. You'll see more content like this, hopefully better. And I'll see you guys again next time. Appreciate you all. Links in the description. Uh, see you later.